Hello, good afternoon or evening. This is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute. I hope this finds you well and this informs you even better. Um, I wanna share with you something that we always, always work on here and that is just like weight reduction and cardiovascular health and just being healthier and living longer and um, uh, thriving, not just surviving, we always work on blood pressure reduction. And I'm gonna tell you how, and I'm gonna show you a little test we do here, and it's on me, so I'm open to show you numbers and all that. I try to live the you know life that I preach, and that is uh, being balanced, being well, <clears throat> excuse me, and and uh, keeping uh, you know uh, numbers in check, including blood pressure. Um, of course, as we age, we lay down thickness in our arteries due to something called endothelial dysfunction, that is endothelial dysfunction, and you don't make as much nitric oxide, and due to hormones and weight and inflammation and that, uh, if you will, that lining in your artery gets damaged, you don't actually have the stretchiness of your vessels. So uh, that's essentially how you develop some hypertension. Now, of course, I'm not going to dig deep into and get in too much involved in, you know, things with diet and exercise and weight loss and all that. Of course, we do that here. We coach you on that. We mentor you on that. We have a great nutritionist and, and program here that looks at key metrics and how to lose weight and get healthier. Uh, she's also a certified uh, trainer and nutritionist. And the point being is, is that all of those matter, okay? Salt reduction, et cetera, you know, the right diet mostly plant-based or Mediterranean, we really believe in, but should always be personalized. And that's everything we do here is a personalized approach at Longevity Health Institute. And that's why you do so well. So we have a test here that looks at central core pressure, which is most important, aortic pressure. Okay, your brachial pressures matter, of course. So when you go to the doctor's office and you should always be not on caffeine, hopefully not, <laughs> had a cigarette or alcohol, should be relaxed, should at least sit down appropriately in a chair and relax and be sitting there for about five, 10 minutes at least, legs uncrossed, okay, and get your blood pressure taken, okay? And truthfully, there's a lot of debate in what's acceptable. Um, American Cardiology Society and the, 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 the AMA and, you know, the um, family practice <clears throat> societies, they're all a little bit of a debating here. But again, one of the things that I always say is the lower the better, obviously without symptoms, you don't want to be dizzy and passing out, but also you want to actually be at least under 130 over 80 and you know even lower than that is better. But again, when you start to get above that, we got to start talking about tweaking supplements and, and your exercise program and your stress and your sleep and all that stuff, okay? but there is a way to check if you're really at risk and that's called central uh, core pressure. It's looking at aortic stiffness and aortic pressure. And it's done in a very similar way, um, but it's looking at actually wavelengths coming from essentially like almost like the top of your typical blood pressure cuff and it's measuring those things. Now we do a autonomic nervous system test here and an arterial brachial index test here. And we have a very sophisticated machine for that so that we're really, really getting good metrics on keeping you very, very preventative and prevascular preventative. But we also do this, this central pressure. And I wanna share this with you, mine. And then I wanna give you something that we use here and tell you what we do. And of course, um, uh, that is, um, um, uh, very personalized and we track this in that. But the thing is we get numbers. Now the brachial pressure is this, that is your typical blood pressure and this is it. So on my first one, and I did two of these and I'll tell you why in a second, my number was 129 over 78. And in the office, <laughs> this was midday, 13, uh, 13, 1300 hours. And, um, and I actually, uh, you can see on there and <clears throat> I actually, uh, probably a little stressed midday running around. I know I had some caffeine, I think coffee in the morning and tea, but I said, hey, look, this is a typical day, you know, seeing patients, you know, dealing with a lot of things, but where's, where are these numbers? Where do, they, where, where, where do I fall in, okay? And, um, you know, this is, I guess, acceptable. I mean, I wasn't too surprised. I also was a little, a little shocked a little bit because it's a little bit for me, a little bit high, and I do trend and track this at home, but also, 
you know, I see this in the practice always, especially for a few months post COVID. So post COVID, you get that endothelial dysfunction, I think. I think that's well established and we're seeing that. And I have patients that come in here um, often, whether they're hypertensive or not, for their normal their normal set point, the blood pressure is a little bit higher. I did have COVID back in um, early December. So it's probably likely that um, this is maybe reflective of that. Um, the other thing is, is that then we get these other numbers. And I know this is a little bit hard to see. I can't read it backwards, but you can see these numbers and it gives you kind of where you should be and these wavelengths that actually have to do with this um, wave that happens in your aorta related to stretchiness, okay? And to make this kind of simplistic is, of course, you want to be all falling in the green in a, num in a good level. And what it's looking at is, is your aortic, your aortic systolic pressure, your diastolic pressure, this wavelength, your heart rate, um, and essentially something called pulse pressure. And all of these have to do with how much pressure they have to put against the aorta and essentially looking at stiffness. So in all of these, I fell into a green and acceptable area. And I told you my blood pressure here and my, so my aortic um, the pressures were 118 over 80. And for me, they're normal, by the way, these are normal, but these are probably, just, like I said, a little bit high. And I told you what happened before. Now, I did the test again two hours after I took something. And I want to share that with you because we use this in the practice here a lot with many other supplements and obviously dietary and, you know, um, good lifestyle and, you know, activities and coaching on diet and exercise and de-stressing and meditation and good sleep. But there's a few supplements that we use very commonly. Um, I typically always use magnesium because so many people are magnesium depleted and I like to use ma magnesium malate or glycinate. And you can go to our website and to our supplement shop and I'll share that with you at the end if you have trouble finding some of that stuff because we keep the highest quality certified GMP stuff there is. But these are also things that I almost always adjunctively use if we're worried about prehypertension. And I take these on and off, not just for blood pressure, but for any time you increase nitric oxide, you're increasing blood flow everywhere. You can perform much better with exercise. You can recover much better with exercise. You get less lactic acid and soreness. And I will tell you with my training and stuff I do, whether it's weights or hockey or, you know, um, spinning or, you know, uh, on a Peloton or what have you, or in the summer outdoor activities that I love to do, most favorite part is being outside. I love that. Okay. But anytime you can increase nitric oxide in your body, you're going to, it's going to serve you well. Okay. Now dietary wise, beets are awesome and there's other things, but beets are awesome. But I want to share this with you. So we use a lot of time this Berkeley Life professional and it's a nitric oxide stimulating supplement um, and, and it has uh, a few things in it like thymine and potassium and magnesium and that but it is also highly concentrated beetroot extract um, and this is one of my favorites I did take this two hours before the second test and this had a significant reduction in my blood pressure and central pressure and I was kind of surprised because I'll tell you about my afternoon. So I took this two hours prior to the second test. We also though use this one other one that's called Neo40. Neo40 is really good too. I get some complaints about this once in a while because uh, Neo40 can cause, if you have herpes, people will get outbreaks because there is um, arginine and citrulline effects which that can aggravate herpes and shingles and stuff, but it is an excellent product and it has excellent effects on increasing nitric oxide. But this, you know, probably right now is my favorite, this Berkeley Life, um, and we see it's a better price too, to be honest with you. And I have people take it pre-exercise, my pre-hypertensive or hypertensive patients take it, um, you know, morning and night, and we see really good results. Now, again, I'm not hypertensive, um, thank God, or goodness, I should say, or at least on most days. <laughs> um, but on my second test, I'll show you my brachial pressure came down to 120 over 70. And my, and I want to show you this, this is a second test. You can look at the number there, the, the time is uh, 1800. And then my core pressures really dropped. So you can see all these pressures really dropped. Um, again, the first one, you know, went from 118 to 111, my diastolic from 80 to 76, um, my uh, pulse pressure, which was a lot more significant, went from 38 to uh, 35, and, and these fell into even a better uh, range. Now, I will also tell you this, and this is what's amazing. This was also 
um, after a cup of green tea and uh, a fairly busy and unexpectedly busy um, afternoon and some things happening that aren't always typical. I won't share the details, but the point is, is that I had some stress and I wanted to do that intentionally because that's a lot of people's typical day. No one's just sitting on a couch, reading, meditating all day long. Impossible, right? That's reality. We're, we're functioning, we're moving, we're dealing with life stuff, family stuff, business stuff, what have you. And so these are things that, um, that you know, it, it will really show up, okay? And so you have to count for that, okay? Um, but again, I thought this was a pretty profound effect, you know, dropping within two hours um, using a beet extract supplement. And like I said, Berkeley Life Professional is the one that I usually like. And of course, I do take magnesium morning and night, okay? But something that simple can drop numbers, you know, systolic and diastolic at least, you know, four or five points. And that is pretty significant. Now, we do use other things um, and, and supplements uh, that help the endothelium kind of regrow and I think I talked about in another video about this that also help you make nitric oxide, okay? Um, but these are quick effects. Usually we see these on and off, you know, pretty quickly within a couple hours. Um, now, of course, I will tell you there's both studies on um, the effects of cardiovascular exercise, uh, you know, spinning, running, elliptical, things like this, uh, and also on... Um, uh, weightlifting. The one thing that's interesting about weightlifting that I always see with patients, if they're a really big guy, if they're real muscular, big, maybe a little bit of weight to lose, but a big heavy guy is. Sometimes the weightlifters, I think mostly because of mass and pressure on organs and on arteries, etc., uh, that it has a different effect. And one of the things I like to watch with aging males, usually 55, 60 and over, is we always screen your aorta, not just for the central pressure and stretchiness, um, but I ordered two of these today, but it's a screening for aortic aneurysm. It's more common than you think. And if you have borderline or hypertensive patients and they have some aortic non-stretchiness, they're more prone to aneurysmal dilation. And, uh, you know, those are really, really dangerous bad things that can actually suddenly rupture and people typically die suddenly because of the, the um, kind of slow effects and then the literally, literally the um, severity of what happens. Most people uh, die suddenly from that. You have to watch those. Now, very atypical in a woman, um, and it, it, unless it's congenital, but I will tell you that we see many men here when we screen for these things, um, you know, they're borderline. We have to watch them for 5, 10, 15 years and make sure that we're controlling blood pressure really well and we got them on the right diet and the right program. A lot of times, like I said, we use uh, beet extracts, um, supplements that, uh, or, or something like that has citrulline and ar arginine in them and uh, we use magnesium a lot. And one little side note, because you know I'm always working on hormones with you, whether it's a man or a woman, very important, okay? But I think this is really, really understated. You need estrogen, okay? Even in a man, okay? You just don't, we don't need a lot. We don't need a lot of estrogen, okay? We need a little. But if we have no estrogen, and that sounds weird, like why would we not have estrogen? Men convert our testosterone to estrogen, okay? We don't make estrogen, we convert from testosterone to estrogen. Estrogen is one of the things that also allows vessels to be more stretchy. But there's a small window. So, you know, you have to have a good functional personalized medical doctor that knows hormones if you're working on your hormones and making sure they're balanced and they're well. And, and uh, even if you're not, even if you're fairly young, but maybe say you're real, real lean and you have a lot of stress in that and you have plenty of testosterone because of your leanness and some other things, you may actually have a little bit too low of estrogen. Now we don't give you estrogen, but we just use things to modify um, the risks on your vasculature and your blood pressure, okay? But again, if you're on a hormone replacement model, women or men, you need some estrogen and you need it in balance and in check to make sure that you're getting benefits to your vasculature, to your stretchiness, to your reduction in blood pressure, and to improve circulation. Um, an interesting thing I, I always find with women that are a little bit borderline hypertensive or they were discovered to be hypertensive, you know, and they come as new patients and they're, you know, only 45, 50, and um, they went to, through earlier menopause or they had to have surgical menopause due to uh, health reasons. 
and their blood pressure, they said, yeah, right away kind of went right up within a few months. And I've been on this medicine ever since. And that is very, very commonly due to the loss of estrogen. And when we put a, a patient, a female on some estrogen for many reasons, for prevention and benefits, for bone, brain, heart, vasculature, mood, sleep, sex, energy, I could go on and on, okay? When you do it right and do it, do it balanced, we see a nice reduction in blood pressure and circulation benefits. And we do that objectively by testing people, uh, you know, not just with a central blood pressure test, but also with our, um, our uh, autonomic nervous system test and our ABI test. So when you're looking for good, personalized, functional, detailed medical care, me and my practitioners, passionate about it, always looking at keeping you well, but not just making you feel good. You know, of course, that's our goal. You come in to make, feel better and get some, achieve some things, okay? But we wanna put you in a model that is preventative and looking at details and also making sure that you thrive and prevent and do well, you know, not just survive. And we all age, aging is a disease. So we have to follow some of these metrics, okay? and make sure that we're ahead of the game and not just waiting to be reactive. All right. Hopefully this, this uh, excuse me, served you well, educates you a bit. I shared some products with you that are, that are really good and things we use like, like also the magnesium and the Neo 40. If you need help with supplements at all, um, we have a supplement shop through our website, longevityhealthinstituteinc.com. And uh, we have a supplement shop uh, on there. You click on that, the password is, is um, uh, health, our fulfillment company. A lot of the stuff I mentioned in these videos um, is in there. We always use medical grade GMP products and we have clinical experience here with many of the things on there for 15, 20 years and we stand behind them and that's why patients do so well. Um, but we are taking new patients always, we're serving you well, we're always adding practitioners into the practice looking also to add a doctor if I can ever find one to, uh, <laughs> to uh, help our model keep growing and serving you well. But uh, give us a call, reach out to us. We're more than happy to guide you into the best of preventative, personalized, functional medicine. Be well, Dr. Lorenz.